In lesson 5.5, what we're going to do is we're going to divide a decimal by a whole number. Similar to what we did in lesson 5.2 when we modeled that, but now in lesson 5.5, we're going to see how we can solve this by using our standard algorithm for division. First of all, just to review from lesson 5.2, if we had a number like 5 and 68 hundredths and divided it by 4, well, the way we would model that is we would take the divisor, which tells us how many groups we have, and we would model what 5 and 68 hundredths would look like with our quick pick using our base 10 blocks as a guide. Those five squares stare in for the five holes. We'll use our six sticks to rep represent our six tenths, and we'll have our eight hundredths by creating eight dots. Now what we need to do is we would take these blocks and we would divide them equally into these four groups. And we'd start with the largest place, which is our whole numbers place. Uh, since we have five blocks and four groups, what we could do is we can place a block in each group and I'll have one whole number, one holes left over. All right. Since I can't take this hole and divide it equally into the four groups, I'm going to regroup that hole and I'm going to convert it to ten tenths. Now that I have ten tenths from the one hole that I regrouped, and I have the six-tenths from the original part of the problem, I have 16 total tenths that I would have to divide into these four groups. As a result, I would be able to put four-tenths in each group, which takes us to our eight-hundredths. And since we have eight-hundredths and we have four groups, we know if we have eight hundredths and we're dividing them into four groups, we can put two hundredths in each group. Therefore, the answer would be one whole, four hundredths, four tenths, sorry, and two hundredths, that would be in each group, which would be one and forty-two hundredths. Now, when we solve that, we wouldn't have to use uh, our quick picks to model what that would look like. If we, were using, if we were using our standard algorithm to solve that problem, it would look something like this. We would set up our problem, the same exact problem, 5 and 68 hundredths being divided by 4. And the way I teach is to remember that if we have a dividend that is a decimal, what we want to do is we want to place that decimal uh, directly above where it is in the, uh, in the dividend so we don't remember so we don't forget to uh, place that later on uh, once we've done that we would divide as we would typically divide let's say 568 divided by 4 we would follow our steps for our standard algorithm divide multiply subtract check bring down and we start with this first spot in our really whole numbers place since it's five holes and it's in the ones place five holes divided by Four groups, divided into four groups, would be one in each group. I would multiply one times four. I would subtract. I would check. And I would now bring down. Once we bring down, that automatically takes us back to the top for our procedure in dividing. And we have 16 being divided by four groups. Essentially what this is, this is the 16 tenths that we had from our previous problem. 16 divided by 4 would be 4. I multiply. 4 times 4 is 16. And I have 0 tenths that are remaining. After I check, I have a number to bring down, therefore I bring it down. And once again, like I said, if we get to the bottom, if there's a number to bring down, we automatically go to the top, and we must divide again. 
8 divided by 4, which is 2. Those 8 hundredths that are left in 4 groups, they can put 2 in each group, and we have nothing remaining. And as you can see, we used our standard algorithm to solve, and we got the same exact answer as we did when we modeled it, which is 1 in 42 hundredths. One last example here. We have 2 and 52 hundredths getting divided into three groups. What I normally do as a visual, since the divisor is 3, and that's how many groups we're going to be dividing our uh, ones, tenths, and hundredths into, I normally like to create a visual for those amounts of groups. Since there are three groups, that's our divisor, I made three, three circles which represents how many groups we're dividing those into. Uh, as we did before, since the decimal is located in between the uh, 2 and the 5, in our quotient, we need to take that decimal and move it directly up, and now we could divide. We have two ones blocks that we're trying to divide into three groups. Since we have two ones blocks divided into three groups, we're not able to put an equal amount in each group. Therefore, uh, 2 divided by 3 is going to be 0, and I divided. The next step is I multiply the 0 times the 3, which is 0, and I subtract the 2 minus 0 is 2. After I check, and I notice that the 2 is less than the 3, I realize I'm able to bring down the 5, and now when I've brought down the 5, I've created 25 tenths. If I have 25 tenths that I'm trying to divide into my three groups, I could put 8 in each group, and then I would multiply 8 times 3, which is 24, and I'm left with one tenth stick left. Now that I check, 1 is less than 3, and there's a number to bring down. I bring down the 2, and I now have created 12 hundredths. I regrouped that 1 tenth, I created hundredths out of them, 10 hundredths, plus the 2 hundredths gives me the 12 hundredths that are here. I divide these 12 hundredths into these three groups, and I could put 4 hundredths blocks in each group. I multiply, I subtract, and my answer would be 84 hundredths. So in each of the three groups, we would have 84 hundredths. That's how you could use your, your standard algorithm to divide a decimal by a whole number.